Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jessica and today I'm going to be tackling my laundry room. I'm going to be organizing in here and cleaning it. And also I wanted to mention that today's video is sponsored by Cricut. I'm so excited to share with you guys my new toy. It has made organizing so much fun and it's so easy to use. So definitely stay tuned for more information on that. But if you need some laundry room organization slash cleaning motivation, this is definitely the video for you. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you do Okay, so I'm just giving you an overview of my laundry room. I would eventually love to paint in here and do different shelving and different flooring and all kinds of fun, pretty things. But this is what I'm working with for now. And it's quite a mess, kind of a catch-all space. I have some cleaning appliances in here, lots of cleaning products because I like to keep cleaning products upstairs as well because we do have a two-story home. So I like to keep stuff that I use up here, up here. We do not have a linen closet upstairs unfortunately. So I use this dresser as my linen closet. So I'm going to go through and organize that as well. So the first step for me in any type of project where I'm organizing is to take everything out of the space. So that's the first step. We're going to take everything out and then we'll have a blank slate to start with. I did want to show you guys I had some dirty rags I was gonna go ahead and clean them while I was up here so I'm just using some powdered Tide just because that's what I had and then I used this Lysol concentrate that was actually sent to me by a subscriber I am so grateful for this because I love it and I have definitely used it this is what I have left of what she sent me but I like to use it to sanitize and clean my rags so I have a sanitize cycle on my washer and I just run it through that and I use just laundry detergent and then that Lysol to clean them and then when I put them in the dryer, I run them on a sanitized cycle there too, which is just a really long, really hot cycle. So this dresser came with our bedroom set, but we really don't have room for it in our room in this house. So I decided to use it here in the laundry room and it works perfectly. It fits perfectly in the space and it works as my makeshift linen closet. So I just have some like extra sheets and pillowcases and things. I even have, I think a couple of pairs of curtains in here. So I just wanted to go through everything and fold it back up nicely and put it in there a lot better than what it was because it had just gotten crammed in there. And then I also decided to take a couple things out to donate or sell I watch you as you drive do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you you put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feel I also use the bottom drawer in here for all of our swimsuits and I have not went through these in years and years. I have swimsuits in here from Kins or not from Kinsley. Kinsley's my youngest, but from Madeline, who's my 13 year old. I have some of her swimsuits in here from when she was like four years old and I did keep some of them for Kinsley, but I did donate a bunch of them as well. So I just went through and organized them by what we want to keep, what fits, and then I got rid of all the rest. You don't know I'm looking With you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling 
Okay, so now for my Cricut Joy, you guys, I'm so excited about this. So like I said, Cricut is sponsoring today's video. They did send me this machine, but I absolutely love it. It has made my life so much easier. I love how portable it is. I just have it in this carrying case, but I literally can just bring it anywhere that I am doing the organizing and set it up. I just plug it in and connect it to Bluetooth and it's ready to go. And the absolute best part of it is they have created an app just for the Cricut Joy. It is available right now currently only for iOS devices, but I can use my phone to create labels or any project that I'm wanting to do right from my phone. So today I'm using their smart vinyl, the writable vinyl with the pen to make the labels that I'm going to show you. So here's one that I had already made for my cleaning supply bucket, but I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to kind of go through the process. So here's the app. Super easy. I just went to quick labels and it walks you through everything, which I love. So it's super beginner friendly. Anybody can do this. Honestly, a child could even do this. So like if you had a teenager that really likes to do crafty things or organization things, this would be perfect for them. But it's so perfect for someone who like me who likes to do organizing, but I like simple, easy, and quick. So like I said, the app just walks you through everything and you can customize your labels. You can change different fonts and different colors. You can even get different color pins, different color vinyl, all kinds of things. It's so much fun. So I had decided to put my Tide powder into a cuter container. Obviously the orange box it comes in is not very cute. And so I wanted to label it. So I just brought my Cricut Joy up here and I'm just quickly making a label. It literally takes less than five minutes. It's so easy. So you can obviously do different projects with the Joy. It can cut up to 20 foot rolls. So if you wanted to do a bigger project, you can. You can look in the app. If you wanted to download the app and kind of browse through it and kind of see some of the ideas, you could do that as well. There's so much you could do with it, endless possibilities. I'm super excited to do more things with it because it's so easy to use. I love, like I said, that I can literally just bring it into the room that I'm doing the organizing project and just plug it in. It, connects right to my phone and in less than five minutes I can make something super cute that just really changes the look of everything. So obviously the ugly Tide box, I'm pouring it into this container I already had. I labeled it Tide and now it's super aesthetically pleasing but it's also very functional. I'll link everything for you guys in the description box where you can check out the Cricut Joy as well as I'll link the app for you if you want to check that out and download it, maybe like play around with it too. But this is seriously a great gift idea or even if you want to gift it to yourself because I love it. It is the best little machine ever. What I have in this bottle here is an old method bottle, but I actually have um, rubbing alcohol and water, which I use as a glass cleaner upstairs. It works really, really well. If you've never done that, it does work great. It leaves no streaks at all, but I've just kept it in this old method bottle. And I was like, well, I have my Cricut Joy up here already. It's so easy to make a label. So I just peeled off the old sticker and I quickly made me a label. And I just used a really pretty like mint or like aqua colored vinyl. And this time, instead of doing the writable where it writes with the pen, I just did it where it like cuts it out. And as you will see when I'm finished here, it just made my little bottle of homemade Windex super cute and it was so easy to do.
So organizing for me is honestly not my favorite thing and I honestly don't feel like I'm that good at organizing either. And I usually use like things that I already have on hand. I don't like to go spend a bunch of money on products for organizing because that just kind of stresses me out. To be honest with you, I love the Dollar Tree for organizing bins. That's like my go-to. Sometimes Amazon, Walmart will have things for a good price. I never want to spend more than a couple of dollars on an organizing bin, but I really dread organizing. It's just not my thing. I love it once it's done, but I hate the process. So kind of what got through me, got through me, <laughs> kind of what got me through this project was listening to Crime Junkies. So I was listening to the Crime Junkie podcast and I think I probably listened to like five stories by the time I was done in here, but it just keeps my mind busy. I'm focused on the story. I'm listening to that and it just helps pass the time so fast. So now that I have the organizing for the most part done, I wanted to do some cleaning. So I just added this attachment to my vacuum that has like the little brush and I vacuumed all of the dust off of the baseboards in here because it is a laundry room. So there's a ton of lint in here. So you couldn't really see it on camera, but these baseboards were covered in lint. So I just vacuumed that off and then I'm just cleaning them with it, my Mrs. Myers and just wiping them off, which was really hard for me. It might not look like it was that hard, but bending down is so hard on me. I feel like my belly is a really tight water balloon and that it's gonna like bust or I'm gonna pop it when I bend over. Oh, I'm like in that miserable stage of pregnancy where my belly, I just don't think, well, it doesn't feel like it could possibly get any bigger, although I know it's going to get a lot bigger. I am 28 weeks pregnant when you guys are watching this, so I'm definitely going to get bigger but I feel maxed out. My skin hurts and I can't bend over. I swear I need to buy one of those little picker up or grabber thingies because bending over is so hard to do. So cleaning those baseboards was like, I can't, I don't even know what to compare it to, but I was so proud of myself when I was done with that because I did not know if I was gonna be able to make it through it. I did pick up this basket at Target because it's so, so cute and I will definitely be able to use it for other things in the future if I decide to, but I keep all of our extra toilet paper up here and I wanted to put it in something cute rather than just leaving it in the packaging, which is what I have been doing for the last year. I literally just throw the packaging on the floor and it looks so tacky and gross. So I got a basket to put it in and I love the way that that looks. So I'm super excited about how that turned out. We do have a walk-in attic space up here. So I did decide to go ahead and put my carpet shampoo in there because I don't use it that often. I was keeping it in the basement, which is pointless because all of our carpet that we do have in the house is upstairs. So it's been upstairs in the laundry room, but I decided 
to just go ahead and put it in that little walk-in attic space. I don't really have anything in there other than I think some Halloween costumes of the girls, a door to our closet, and now my carpet shampooer. No point to pretend anymore. Better not judge. I'm not keeping score. This is the final overview of everything and how it turned out. I'm so happy, so, so happy to have this project done. I'm kind of in that nesting mode where I'm wanting to get everything clean and organized and ready for baby. So as hard as it is for me sometimes to do these projects and muster up the motivation, when I'm done, I feel amazing. So I hope that this video helped inspire you guys to get your space done in your home, whether it be your laundry room or another. If you do want to clean and organize the space in your home and you want to send me before and after pictures over on Instagram, I would love that so much and I would definitely share them with my followers if you tag me. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching.